For me, the Sydney Fringe is about risk and it's about ideas. There's a real lack of venues at the moment for artists who just want to try out an idea and throw something against the wall and see what sticks. The Sydney Fringe is a space for that and it's really critical to keep providing that. A space to be experimental, to do new work, for independent artists to explore new ideas. It's an inclusive space and there's always really exciting things happening. I think Sydney Fringe is really important to the Sydney cultural landscape because it lends massive exposure to a whole lot of artists who wouldn't normally get access to that sort of exposure. It represents a level of diversity that we don't have in Sydney generally. An opportunity for emerging artists to put on new work and I think that's important particularly in the Sydney landscape because well, there are a lot of emerging artists that aren't necessarily given a platform and an opportunity. Sydney Fridge Festival was really the most immediate platform to get a new work, a large scale work up and running with the support of finding a venue and the administration and finding a new audience. I needed a deadline and, and I had to put a date on my show so I knew that Sydney Fringe would be a very uh, open and accessible way to change from being a straight singer-songwriter into doing something different like cabaret and it gave me a platform to do that. To get access to audiences that we wouldn't normally get access to as well as I found Fringe to be incredibly supportive right from the start. They gave us great training, some really good ideas and a whole lot of support and encouragement for our shows. What I love about the Sydney creative scene is the determination and the energy. It's by no means easy to put on work in this city, but the sheer determination of the artists who do it is inspiring. And there's a lot of independent artists. We don't always hear about their practice, but there are people working and persisting with independent work, which I find really encouraging. I think that what Sydney has is a bunch of industrious people. It's a hard city to live in, and I think that it, it pushes you to extend yourself and make, make it work however you can. And that's Sydney. Sydney is a pretty amazing place to be.